Okay, hey guys. Uh, today's video is going to be showing off the brand new coin ops. I've finally finished it. Uh, I've been working on it pretty much all week. And um, I finished it this morning. I put in another sleepless night, but it's finally done. So, um, I wanted to talk about a couple of things before I get into that. Um, not only did I finish the coin ops, but I also integrated, I guess, maybe the scripting uh, side of things into the uh, into the install, into the update, and into the master control panel. So what that basically means is, um, depending on what setup you have, it'll swap in the proper wheels as per setup, and then you can kind of use it. So I just wanted to kind of like show that off, and then there, I think there's like. Uh, Maybe like another one or two things that I wanted to get into. I'm just doing something here. Okay, yeah. So, um, let's go into the master control panel and uh, switch it to the 2 terabyte. And I think the easiest way to kind of show that it actually worked uh, would be here. I'm just going to launch the, uh, the coin up setup. Uh, it's actually kind of loud, but um, if, if you go down into uh, the handheld side of things, um, the Nintendo Switch should be gone. Uh, I'm not seeing it here, so it is gone. So let's get out and change it over. Uh, trying to find my mouse. Change it to the 24 terabyte setup database is copied in and um, this actually changes it for all three front ends hyperspin launch box big box as well as coin ops so when you do something here it actually affects all three so let's go back in and uh, now we'll go down to handhelds and you should be able to see the Nintendo switch has been added in anything else I guess that was beyond the two terabyte yeah the Nintendo switch here so Oh, it's so loud. Jeez. Um, but uh, yeah, there's about 42, 4,300 games in this. So um, I'm just going to turn down my speakers. Sorry about that. But um, yeah. So the other thing that I wanted to kind of show off before uh, me getting into the actual setup is... Um, because I added the collection wheels to the coin up side of things, what I had to do in in Rocket Launcher was actually add uh, all the individual games to have alternative emulator uh, launches, and that's what you can kind of see here. It took me a long time to do this. Uh, at first, I started doing them manually. I just kind of went down the list and I was adding them uh, one by one. And then I found a way to kind of like macro do it through like a text editor. And I did that for like maybe 85% of uh, what was left. So it, it was faster, um, quite a bit faster, but uh, it was still very tedious. And doing, you know, some of these have like a lot of game lists, like, uh, like the Shotgun Collection or maybe Kirby or um, Final Fantasy, etc. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it took me uh, like days to just kind of get through this and uh, make sure they they worked etc so yeah that's uh two things i want to show off and then the third thing i want to show off is um the xml list and what i did for that is um coin ops actually has a different way of uh, reading game lists and what they do is they just kind of look for like a file type so they don't actually have like a like a list of games in an XML like um, like Launchbox and, and and Hyperspin does, but um, it actually just looks for the amount of games in a folder and it just reads whatever's there. So what I actually did to kind of import I guess all the lists over is I found a way to um, export out um, the game list from Hyperspin and in into a text file and then from there um, I exported that into a bunch of dummy files and you can actually see the dummy files here there's actually about 43,000 of them and they represent just they just represent the names of the games so uh, you can see they actually have a 0 KB size um, 
and it's just representative of what what is in each wheel, like Cave, um, Xbox 360. And it, yeah, so as long as I guess maybe the settings file can see this folder or whatever's in this folder, it's going to think that's the game total. So I just kind of used dummy files and I uh, generated a list based on that. So you've got actually a one-to-one -one ratio between this and Hyperspin now. Uh, and then I actually used this to kind of compare it against um, the media and I was able to uh, even fix some things on the Hyperspin side. So it's Things have improved all around. It's actually quite nice. So let's go into the coin ops setup and just kind of look look at things. And we're just going to go into the all category and then maybe just kind of pop into like a few prominent wheels and, and maybe just launch a couple of things. So just going down the list, um, you got full sets of MAME. Um, MAME uh, four player. And these wheels actually share a lot of the same content. Uh, they're actually pointed to the main folder, so you get all the covers, um, all the custom uh, different uh, cabs, um, you know, in the various... Whatever is, I guess, maybe arcade-related, it will have all that. So you've got uh, Bitway, Nameco, uh, Data East, Konami, uh, Arim, uh, Racing Games... Uh, gun games. I think there's 230 or something gun games in that. Uh, you've got American Laser Games. Sonic Collection. Um, World Combat. Castlevania. Contra. Zelda. Uh, Donkey Kong. Bomberman, Double Dragon, um, pretty much, uh, I think there's about 170 wheels here, about, uh, let's go into Simpsons, let's check that out, but um, yeah, I've, I've pretty much set them all up to either have like a generic, oh, I accidentally pressed down, um, oh, uh, let me explain this while I'm here. Uh, at the top, you've got your entire, I guess, game set all in one category. You've got your arcade stuff. You've got your console stuff. You've got your uh, handhelds. So let's go back into all. Well, let's just kind of go the other way. But um, Virtual Boy. Um, game Boy Advance. Um, engage Neo Geo Pocket uh, PlayStation TurboGrafx 16 uh, PC Engine CD PC Engine uh, Xbox um, yeah, you got all your console stuff. 2600. Super Nintendo. Uh, Neo Geo CD. Panasonic 3DO. Uh, PlayStation 3. PlayStation 2. PlayStation 1, original. PlayStation 1's not really a thing. Uh, Sega Saturn. Mega Drive. Sega Master System. Dreamcast. Um, Super Nintendo CD. Uh, Wii U. Uh, Nintendo GameCube. But uh, yeah, 
Um, pretty much what I did is I imported all the important wheels over to the coin op side of things. I guess if you want the full experience, you would use hyperspin. But um, coin ops actually uh, looks... Uh, Oh, shit. Anyway, um, I'm going to end it there. I accidentally reset myself by pressing uh, down. Um, but, uh, yeah, coin ops is done. I wanted to kind of... Oh, uh, I also wanted to kind of apologize to anybody that I ignored this week. Um, this week has been super busy because of this project. It's now done. I've had coin ops on my website for about a week now. And um, I kind of felt like it was false advertising. So I just basically pushed ahead to try to get this out. And uh, it is now done. It's going to be on the server in a couple of hours. I'm going to post new Google files. This will not be part of the Google files but um, you're going to have to basically just run the sync and, and get it that way. Uh, there's a lot of files in this package and um, I'm not going to be sticking that in the Google files. But um, anyway, yeah. Um, thanks for watching guys. Uh, this is going to expand as well over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I put all the back work in over the last week or so and it's going to allow me to add a bunch of more wheels so it's it's probably going to go up over you know up into maybe the 200 range um yeah have a good day i'm gonna get out thanks take care i'm going to bed